not knowing that it had hot sauce in it. <laughs> and she done came out the bathroom. <laughs> Coochie smelling like a chicken tender. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, welcome to episode three of the Starks TV show. Appreciate everybody tuning in. You heard. Um, I need you to go ahead while you're here. If it's your first time ever seeing the episode, go and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that like button and go and hit that notification bell. That way, every time I drop a video, you get that notification directly to your phone. You feel me? Hey, man, I'm excited. My energy's up, man. I feel great, man. I beat COVID. You know what I'm saying? Not only did I beat COVID, man, this Tuesday, January 11th, just marked my 11th year in stand-up comedy, man. So I got to give it up to myself. You know what I'm saying? 11 years in the game, that's a, that's a, man, that's a big thing. And you know I'm black, man. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, you know, my, my, my OGs ain't heard about this because you know how black people do. You know, it's my 11th year of comedy on January 11th. You need to go play your numbers. You need to go play the lottery. Let me get 1-1, one, one, a 1-1 one, one straight box. You know what I'm saying? That's how they going to do it. Everything, they feel like everything is a lottery play. You know what I'm saying? So I feel, I feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long grind. Uh, you know, it's been very gratifying, you know, telling jokes for 11 years, man. I've, I've grown immensely as a comedian, uh, you know, and stand-up is my true passion. I do this because I enjoy it, but stand-up is the true passion, man. And, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be in your city one day, and we're going to have to pull up and politic, you heard? So, uh, while, while in celebration of my, my, my comedy anniversary, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I do stand-up, but y'all know I do stand-up, you know what I'm saying? So let me post something for you real quick, man. You got bronchitis, what's good? <laughs> you shot hard in the leg. That nigga part eagle, goddamn. <laughs> I'm sipping that turtleneck. <laughs> oh, my boy over here, man, he getting it in. Who's that talking? Don't get me started, nigga, that UK, and I see you. <laughs> Shut up, big too fast, nigga. I see you, nigga. Ain't no nigga making it in here, nigga. I see that nigga at the bar. He said, yeah, bro, let me get a vinegar and water. This nigga drinking a cup of snapback in this bitch. This nigga talking to a bitch. Nigga, did you drink douche? Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I told you, man. I really be out here on these streets, man. Beat me stages up, you understand? So I really, you know, I really be out here making it do what it do, man. You know what I'm saying? Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, enough about me. Let's go on and get to it, man. It's a lot going on out here, man. And let's talk about it, man. First off, man, we're going to talk about your boy Drake, man. The Six God. You understand? Uh, word on the street is Six God. He's sitting there in the hotel room. He done had sex with a chick. He done banged her out. You know what I'm saying? He bust in the condom. Take the condom tied up in the knot. Throw it in the trash. Already right there. That's a level that I've, I've never experienced. Not my caliber person. I take it off and put it in the napkin. Flush it down the toilet. Whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never got no thoughts, you know, about that. But being somebody with that kind of celebrity, that rich, you know what I'm saying, that famous, you know, I think chicks on their groupie stuff would try to be deceptive. So, you know, he took the condom, tied it up, and put it in the trash. I guess through the time of them spending time, she went in the bathroom, played it off like she got used to the bathroom. She took the condom, opened it back up, and she done opened the coochie up and poured the nut in her coochie. So she's trying to get herself pregnant by Drake. You know what I'm saying? That way, you know, she ain't never got to work again because somebody with that much money, that's a gold mine. You ain't never got to work again, you know? But I'm sure these guys are aware of that stuff. These guys is on that status, you know what I'm saying? So he's so aware of it, that word is that he took some hot sauce, poured it in the condom, which allegedly kills the sperm, tied it up, put it in the trash. When she went in the bathroom, she poured the nut in the coochie, not knowing that it had hot sauce in it, <laughs> and she done came out the bathroom. <laughs> Coochie smelling like a chicken tender. <laughs> Coochie smelling like a pack of hot fries. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
She went in fresh and clean, had to pee. She came out, coochie smelled like a pack of wrap snacks. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I feel like that's pretty genius, you know what I mean? Because that's just kind of an alarm to let you know if they're trying to be deceptive, which she was. But the word on the street is, is she's trying to sue Drake for what grounds, I don't know. But she's trying to sue Drake because of the fact that she put hot, he put hot sauce in her and the hot sauce, she hurt herself. Because I guess the hot sauce burnt the inside, you know what I mean? But who's to blame, man? Eh? Salute to the sixth god. I just think that's so genius. Her and her, uh, uh. Spicy ham hot pocket coochie. In other news, um, a lot of women's coming forth saying they've been raped by R&B artist Trey Songs. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's crazy because more notably, a uh, chick named Dylan Gonzalez, uh, former college athlete, she got a twin sister. They're the Gonzalez twins. They look alike. They both got booty and abs. You know what I'm saying? Babs. <laughs> Let's get serious. All right, this is no laughing matter. The fact that she's claiming that he raped her in the Las Vegas hotel room uh, in like 2018 or something like that. And uh, I'm not here to point the finger. I'm not here to say who did what. But uh, if this is actually true, man, prayers for all the women involved. I hope y'all get help and find peace in some way, shape, or form, you know. And uh, that just goes to show, man, I need all the ladies watching this to use this as a learning tool that sometimes you don't want to, somebody like that, that everybody's like, Trey Songz, my baby daddy, and ooh, Trey Songz, people like me think that he can get any chick that he wants just by the way women be throwing themselves at him. But obviously, it's a weird play at hand, you know what I'm saying? Most of these guys that got the world at their hands end up doing some backdoor weirdo stuff anyway, you understand? So I feel like y'all should use this as a learning tool and, uh, I always go for the regular guys first, man. Give us regular guys a chance. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going for the stars with the money, the athletes and all that good stuff, man. Listen, man. Go get you a high four. Get you a high four in your life. Yeah, he got a beard belly, but his heart is pure, okay? You know what I'm saying? You're going to get the dude with the Maserati, but have you ever had an entertainment center put together in under 30 minutes? No. You know what I'm saying? Get you a high four, baby. Go get you a high four. Quit going for the weirdos because the ones that got the world at their hands don't appreciate what's in front of them. You get you a high four, man, you're going to change that man's life and he's going to change yours, you heard me? <laughs> I'm just saying. Use that as a learning tool, ladies. You ever had you a man that can carry a mattress upstairs by itself and make his own a rib glaze? You ever had you a man that can cut her and do breaks? He might not got a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, but he got a Chrysler 300M with two payments left on that up. All I'm saying is get you a high four in your life, baby. That way it ain't about looks, it's about personality, huh? China's so far technologically advanced than us in the US, man. These boys done built a son. Yes, you done heard me right. Them boys built a son. I don't know what it's made of. I don't know what's going on, but them boys are so far ahead of us, it don't make no sense. Here I am thinking I'm styling on people because I got a Roku TV. Meanwhile, in China, they done built a son. I already know what they did. They ain't did nothing but warmed up uh, 3,000 ham and cheese hot pockets and launched it up in the sky because the inside of those be lava, you hear me? China done styled on the whole world. Even when it's nighttime, it's daytime. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means, but it sounds fly. I could use that to attract the honey. Baby, it's always day where we play. You know, something stupid. <laughs> They styled on the world with that sun, man. I know we couldn't build nothing like that in the U.S. We couldn't build no sun in the U.S. Come on now. I'm from Kentucky. I know these country boys would be judging that sun. They'd be thinking they could have built it better and all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. It's, it's slow going up there, man. It's slow. I know they got a 305 Chevy in there. I know a 305 when I see it. It's 305, yeah. You know what? That just makes me think. I'm going to Marathon tonight, man. I'm playing 305 straight box. I know I got to get my life together. China over building suns, I'm over still trying to figure out how I'm shadow banned on Facebook. I, I got to do better. Hey, yo, I also got to get this off my chest. I feel like I need to do this for the world. I feel like I need to do this for the universe. McDonald's, put some respect on our names. All McDonald's is around the world, put some respect on our names. It's been 20 years that y'all been giving us the same excuse that the ice cream machine is broken. The ice cream machine can't be broken with this much technology going on. We have phones in our hands that can do everything in the world. It is no way that y'all got ice cream machines that still break down and y'all been giving us the same excuse for 20 years. It is no way. China just built a sun. Huh? China just built a sun. And you telling me the ice cream machine don't work? I'm not going for that. We not going for that play no more. Breaking news. The ice cream machines are never broken. 
The ice cream machines are never broken. Hear me out. I've known plenty of people that worked at McDonald's, man. This is the play. The ice cream machines don't be broken. But being that the, the, the uh, ice cream that they put in the machines is dairy, it has to be cleaned on, on a schedule, like chemically cleaned because, you know, the milk breakdown, that's unsanitary, so the machines got to be cleaned chemically on a schedule to meet all the standards of, you know, the health codes. So if somebody cleans out the machine and then they pour more ice cream in it and then use it, whoever's on that shift got to clean it again. So if you want a shift and you cleaned out the ice cream machine already, how much of a time y'all got left, y'all trying to keep the machine clean. So if anybody orders ice cream from this time to this time, you're not gonna get it because the ice cream machine's broke. You're welcome. Breaking news, Starks TV, you feel me? You're welcome. I'ma tell you something else, man. I'ma tell you something else. From now on, when they give you the play that the ice cream machine's broken, you roll down your window a little bit more than it was already open. And if it's all the way down, open your door and just tell them. China built the sun, my boy. Ain't no way that ice cream machine broke in you. You welcome. I'm stressed, man. I'm stressed because 2022 is here live and direct. We hey, ain't no new year, new me. We still out here making bad decisions, huh? We making bad decisions like going to Taco Bell and getting wings. That's what we're doing. We're going Taco Bell and getting weak. You mean to tell me that you rode past a KFC, you rode past the Buffalo Wild Wings, you might have rode past a Applebee's even to go to Taco Bell and get wings? Listen, man, you need to go get rebaptized because you're out here acting uncouth. <laughs> you feel me? You're out here acting uncouth. <laughs> you know, if ain't nobody in there with a jiggly back arm making them wings, then wings ain't going to be hitting on nothing, my boy. You understand? That's like going to Valvoline and trying to get your car painted. They don't know nothing about painting no cars. All they know is transmission flushes and oil changes. You hear me? Paint ain't they calling. Paint ain't what they do. That's like going to Walmart, getting what you need, getting to the register, and the line ain't 700 people long. Opening more than three registers at one time is not they calling. It's not what they do. Walmart's not annoying and inefficiency. That's like getting a woman to say the words, I apologize. I'm sorry. It was my fault. Say it with me, y'all. Say it with me, y'all. That's not they calling. That's not what they do. <laughs> we out here wearing masks, using hand sanitizer, ducking COVID, and you out here eating Taco Bell wings. Huh? Do you not care about the rest of us? That's not your calling. That's not what you're supposed to do. Come here, come here, come here. I'm going to tell you and I don't want to tell everybody else around. I need you to listen to me. Come here. Uh, I just need to tell you this. It's January 14th. Take your Christmas tree down. You better than that. Mm -hmm. You got your work shoes underneath it now. Your girl got lashes stuck to the ornaments. You done turn that Christmas tree into a storage. You better than that. You out here acting uncouth. Now I know y'all wouldn't girl watch this whole video and really truly think that you was going to watch this thing and it wasn't going to be no roast video in it. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yo, y'all done tagged me 700 times in this picture. I see the picture, I'm here. First of all, what did y'all expect out of old Russ, huh? What y'all expect out of old Russ, man? Y'all know he want to be a Scottish point guard so goddamn bad. Hey, he got on his kilt. I know he got a, a fresh cinnamon in his back pocket. <laughs> I don't trust nobody who got on a dual pocketed cardigan with the clavicle window in it. Do you hear me? He dressed like Ace Ventura when he was at the crazy house running football plays. Outfit work. <laughs> hey, Russell Westbrook is dressed like kids. That's the outfit they give kids when they pee on themselves at school. <laughs> what kind of boots are those? Ice Road Trucker 11s? Ugly. Hey, you don't get them goddamn militant boots out of here. You dress like an Irish church usher. <laughs> Right this way, matey. 
<laughs> hey, I promise you, in this front of heart, if he pulled in that kilt, it's gonna sound like a moped riding through a tunnel. I swear to God. <laughs> Yo, man, thank y'all for watching episode three of the Starks TV show, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all growing with me, man. Rock with me, man. I appreciate the comments about the new format. You know what I mean? Hit me up in the comments, man. Holla at your boy, man. Real Starks 27 on Instagram. Follow me, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll rock out. Make sure you subscribe, man. Make sure you get the notification bell on the channel and all of that. And uh, I appreciate everybody watching, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, always remember, a wise man once told me, titties. Y'all be safe out there, man. Salute. <laughs>